Did I ever think it would ever last 60 years? No. What surprised me the most about the X-Men from the beginning? That it would be as much fun as it was. That we would get as many brilliant artists working on it as we did. And that I never seemed to run out of stories. What do I think is the appeal of the X-Men? Well, until page 12 of issue 279, the brilliant writing. How important is it that behind every hero are really human qualities that define that person for the readers? Absolutely essential. I mean, if you didn't have them, why would you read the book? In terms of which X-Men I am most attached to, that would be unfair. I mean, if whoever I say, all the others would be jealous. And that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be the right thing to do. I view them all pretty much equally. Um, I view them all pretty much equally. The real question is which one are the readers attached to? I've already written the book. I want to sell it, therefore I am interested in the reader's opinion far more than my own. Which one do I think has the most human evolution? I would have to say that's the same answer as the previous question. Again, if I played favorites, the others would feel wronged. And it's not fair to do that to a family. Um, sorry. I think that the X-Men's humanity and the way that they have to face problems hopefully as, as well as the readers do is the key to their success. If, if you read the X-Men and they were nothing like you as a reader or your friends or the world you lived in, what would be the point? I would lose interest in it really quickly. The, the key element for me to writing good characters and good stories is to define them at very, as much and close as possible to the readers. Whether the readers live in Brooklyn or Barcelona or here in Milan. It's, that's the secret to me of writing, of putting people that are recognizable to you as a reader, put them in incredibly dramatic situations, and then have them resolve that situation in ways that you as the reader might think, hey, I could do that if I had a chance or I wish I could do that if I had a chance. Either way, the key is to leave the reader getting to the end of each issue and wanting to see what happens next without being interrupted by the speaker. What do I think of the film adaptations? I think some could be better. I think others are really good. But my real reaction is what I would love most is a chance to see if I could do a film concept that makes the audience love the movies as much as the comic audience has loved the books.